everyone, it's Pixelina and welcome to this video where I am going to be talking to you guys about the news that we have so far on the December update. That is going to be coming in December 2015, around the time that Get to Work comes out as well. So I just want to let you guys know really, really fast that the major thing that is coming to The Sims 4 update is the 64-bit version. Now, for those of you who aren't as tech savvy as others, uh, you probably don't know what the difference between 32-bit and 64-bit is, or you probably don't care, but for those of you who have over 4 gigabytes of RAM, this is going to be very useful information, so stay tuned. Alright, so pretty much what the difference between 32-bit and 64-bit is, that if 32-bit applications only use up to 4 gigabytes of RAM, no more, no less, and that means if you want to up your RAM to 8 gigabytes or 16 gigabyte, gigabytes or 24 or 34, you're not going to be able to. Now, why is this? Because, uh, I said 34, I'm sorry, I meant 32. Uh, why is this? It is because it is a 32-bit application. Now, a 64-bit will take advantage of the extra RAM that you have in your computer and will use it to its full advantage. Um, especially when like your the game is being more, uh, more demanding and say, for example, you have more sims on a lot or you are at a venue or a lot that requires uh, your your computer to work a little harder maybe it has a lot of objects or maybe it has a lot of things moving on the screen I don't know something like that if you are taking up a lot of power CPU usage you are going to need this 64-bit application to do the job rather than a 32-bit which won't help you much it'll it'll just need the game to rely mostly on the rest of your computer specs and not so much the very important thing which is RAM. RAM is super important especially when it comes to 64-bit applications which is why every application should run on 64 bits but yeah that is all I'm gonna say for that. The second thing is that we are going to now have automatic disabling of mods on patching which is actually a very very new feature. So EA says, along with today's news, or Sims VIP actually, <laughs> she says, along with today's news of 64-bit Windows version, EA has also announced the disabling of mods on patching feature. This feature will be extremely helpful, helpful for those who want to update their game and not have to worry about mods breaking the game. So pretty much if you... You, which actually what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to update your mods just a little disclaimer what this means um, is that uh it adds a new feature and this will disable all mods when the game is updated via origin on first launch after the update is applied you will be shown a dialogue at the menu indicating that mods have been disabled and i think this is an amazing option and it might be kind of a hassle but you know what i think it's going it's going to save us a lot of stress and just overall just save us from game and game problems i think that's gonna be very you know very nice but yeah that is all i have to say in this video i hope you guys enjoyed be sure to leave a thumbs up down below and a comment down below as well if you guys have any questions or if you just want to leave a nice comment down below that'll be awesome but yeah that is the end of this video i hope you guys enjoyed and i will talk to you all very soon bye pixel